brothers and sisters next we will listen to a testimony how the love of god has touched one person and how one experienced the love of god this is a uh, brother dilan gunasekara praise the lord brothers and sisters praise the lord praise the lord praise the lord, praise the lord. Praise the lord. psalm 103 verse 1 and 2 it says Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me. Bless His holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and do not forget all His benefits. I am standing here to testify the love of Jesus in my life. My testimony is based on uh, the Word of God from Revelation chapter two, verse four. The Lord says, "But this is what I have against you: you do not love me now." as you did at first by faith i was born as a buddhist my mother is a buddhist and my father is a methodist i followed my mother's religion and she is still a practicing buddhist but i was baptized at the age of 6 to be able to study in a christian school as sometimes one some parents do until i was 28 though i was baptized i was a baptized christian I felt within that the concept of God was only a myth. I truly believe in the Buddhist philosophy of cause and effect. But in 1993, January 1st, when I was 28 years, Jesus in his mercy decided to speak to me in an Anglican church. During an Anglican church mass, I heard the voice of Jesus. Jesus told me, "My son, I died for your sins." and if you follow me i can give you eternal life that you are searching for at that time in my life i was truly looking for the true path of salvation and i thought then it was the path of nirvana of the lord buddha but then jesus came and told me that if i follow him that he can take me to this path of eternal life which now i know it is heaven that divine encounter changed my life when i was a young man From that day up to today I am journeying with Jesus the lover of my soul a lot of things have happened in this 38 30 years of my life I praise and thank Jesus for his love for me and for my family in my own experience now I will share with you what my first love experience uh, that, that the bible mentioned in revelations with Jesus from my first day for the first 6 months that is in 1992 I was madly in love with Jesus. I could remember I started my day visiting a church in the morning, speak, speaking to Jesus like a friend. Actually, though I was a Methodist, there was a Catholic church close to my office, so all the time I used to visit a Catholic church. In the afternoon during my lunch break, I went to a Catholic church and spent my time before the Blessed Sacrament. In the evening, also I went to church to spend some time with the Lord. Then after going home I was living in Mount Lavinia I used to go to Mount Lavinia beach and walking along the beach for hours and hours uh, with Jesus the thirst I had to experience the love of Jesus was beyond words but unfortunately I now I have neglected my first love with Jesus Lord have mercy on me please forgive me On 10th and 12th of this month I was uh, in a Tamil and English retreat here in the Divine Retreat Center Lord spoke to my heart from Father Michael's message about the importance of having a love relationship with Jesus to overcome the struggles we have and to have victory over sin that we continually uh, struggle in our own lives Lord spoke to my heart from that message and also during the blessed sacrament adoration the last few months i have been struggling with evil thoughts coming into my mind i was having a str- struggle uh, with satan many times during confession i confess this sin but on and off i fall into this sin over and over again but that day jesus taught me the way for me to overcome victory over sin is to fall in love with him the same way that i was in love in my early journey lord is telling me my son dilan do not neglect your first love be like a child and come to me in prayer 
Like in your early days, come to me, hold my hand and walk with me. Like you walk with me on the Mount Lanier beach for hours and hours. I am your lover and your friend. Have faith in me. The Lord is telling me. I will help you to overcome all your sins. The same question I asked Simon Peter, I am asking you today. Dilan, my son, do you love me more than anyone in this world? Now my answer is, yes, Lord, I love you more than anyone in this world. Please forgive me for neglecting my first love. The words of this beautiful hymn, Amazing Grace, comes to my mind. I will conclude my testimony by singing a few words from that hymn. Amazing grace, how sweet the sound that saved a wretch like me. I once was blessed, but now I've found. Was blind, but now I see. Twas grace that taught my heart to fear, and grace my fears really. How precious did that grace appear The hour I first believed Through many danger toils and snares I have already Come, this grace has brought me safe thus far, and grace will lead me home. John 3.16, the word of God says, For God so loved the world that he gave his only Son, so that everyone who believes in him may not perish, but may have eternal life. Thank and praise you, Jesus Christ, for your love in my life and in the life of all our brothers and sisters. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.